What's up, everybody? It's your girl Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Uh, you know, I am here today in the office, uh, <laughs> and I just was like, you know, let me go ahead and and reach out and speak, to folks. Because one, I put I put something together because I've been in here all day. I've been doing paperwork, been doing different things, and I ended up putting the course together. And I call it the 20% rise up. Now, people may make fun of me and say, oh, man, you're trying to be positive. But at the end of the day, I speak from a perspective of someone who, over the course, five to seven years has ultimately skewed all the way up, changing their life. And I there's so many things I want to talk about here on YouTube, and I know I cannot. It's just not the space for it, right? So I made the course super cheap, but we're going to do weekly live trainings. The way we're going to do it is it's almost like little mini masterminds. And I was talking to my friend. He's like, man, make it $1,000. I'm like, no, I'm only going to make it 150 because I know when we get in there, we're going to chop it up. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to show you what I'm doing for the rest of the year. I'm showing you how I'm going to be directing. I'm going to show you the credit. I'm going to bring people in there, to my friends from other industries, and bring them in there and talk to you guys. And I already have a credit friend I'm coming to bring in there. You know, credit Irene might come in. Two other credit people might come in. And we just chop it up in these live trainings so you guys know what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to talk about group funding. Then I'm going to talk about trucking. Uh, the things I want to say, I can't be free to speak like I want to here on YouTube. I love it. I love being here. I love making these courses. I love being on here doing live live shows. But I just know the way I want to say things. I'm just not I'm not free enough to say things the way I want on here. And even if I talk about techniques or strategies, I realize some people it's going over their head, like whatever, Erica, like we ain't trying, we ain't here for that. We're not here to listen to that. And so um, when I see that, I go, okay, we, we're going to have to make a class and keep it separate. Now, I posted something in the community page, and if you guys see it, um, you know, <laughs> it basically is somebody, I make jokes about the people living with multiple roommates. And and trust me, I've lived with roommates, I've, but my roommates were engineers and a finance person. And literally the guy, and I'm not making fun of men, the guy posted, there's five of us living in a house. I just lost my job today. The other four in the house already lost their job. We don't have any food and we don't have money for rent. Now, you guys, if there are five people in a house. I mean, talk to me, maybe I'm off. You guys let me know if five people are in a house. Should we not even have rent? Should we not have food? Like people act like I'm um, being dramatic, but but you guys let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm off. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. You guys let me know. What's up, you guys? Shout out Brandon from Memphis. Erica keep grinding. Exactly. What are they doing with their money? I mean, that, I mean, that's just. I don't get it. Right. If you got five people in a house, what's happening that y'all don't have groceries? Now, I was watching some of the news earlier where they had bread lines. Now, I'm going to say this and y'all could call me, say I'm wrong. You tell me whatever I want. In the bread line, you had brand new Jeep Wranglers, brand new pickup trucks, brand new cars, a lot of brand new, brand new. And I'm like, you in a bread line for a box of food? waiting all day in line for this box of food and you got a brand new Jeep Wrangler. Let me be very clear. Brand new Jeep Wranglers are $40,000 to $50,000. The type I wanted, you guys always see me talking about, they're like $50,000. And the and the person in me, the person in me was like, Erica, we not spending no 50 k for this. We'll go get a $10,000 used Jeep and do some, you know, customizing on it. And in those moments, I realized I'm talking to a certain population of you guys. I'm not talking to all of you, right? So, I mean, again, if you guys are going to, let me just put it this way. If you guys are going to rise in the next two years, put a one in the comments because because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people who want to rise up. And I, I'm sitting out here like, we can sit out here and talk about people being poor. We can talk about people being broke. And I'm telling you, I'm in the economy and I'm looking at, if Donald Trump came out and said, hey, uh, we're going to be closed for four months. That's what's going to happen. The country would riot. The country would like flip it over like, ah, they would be fire in the streets. If you told these people that we were going to close the United States for four months. 
period. They, there would literally be a fire, fire on every corner, Bob fires, and where people were like, no. And I know that's true because no one, when we talk about right now, even in Jamaica, there's a clip and it's funny. They've already been, they've already made it into a, a musical meme. And it was where the literally the black Jamaican, she was saying, look, why are y'all out going for bread? If you don't have bread, eat crackers. If you don't have crackers, eat sardines. If you don't have, like, she's like making fun of people saying they don't need to be out the house. And they're on an island, y'all. Like, to me, Hawaii and J Jamaica, the only reason they would be concerned is the tourists coming in. So they're probably in their mind, like, I'm going to go walk around and do whatever. We're on an island. Only way we're getting sick is if we let more people come in. She was like, even if you, you should already have two weeks food supply because of hurricane rules. Now, I agree. And I'm a Southerner. I'm not a Texan. I'm a Southerner from the Carolinas where everybody has a deep freezer. We already are prepared for hurricanes. And nine times out of 10, we have beans. We have rice. We have some type of meat for seasoning. And we'll have other items for chili. I get you guys think I'd be joking about the chili, but I'm for real. We always talk about the chili. And it's because that's just standard prep 101. That's like your grandma and grandpa prepped you 101. Why did so many people survive the Great Depression? When they left the cities, they went to their cousins in the farms. Uh, when they left the city, small towns in the Depression, if they weren't like the Dust Bowl areas, they actually did pretty okay. They actually show you photos of people near farms and they had on clothes. They weren't that dirty. They weren't that dusty. They were just out there looking a little sad. And they went on with their life. Like they even showed a picture of these people eating, a family together eating during the Great Depression. And they had peas, a little meat, like a little bit of meat, and then rice and something else. And I go, that family probably ate more than other people in the city. Gardens. And, and the, this is where the government was like, victory gardens. Even in the course. So in the course, the ultimate rise up, I'm putting the links in there. Listen, I'm going to show y'all how I know people right now who are tuning up their Instagram and selling cattle and veggies from their farms right now. Now, we can do the free 99 and go on Facebook and sell eggs and go on crazy and sell it. But I'm going to show you how people are really leveling up. I'm getting ready to go buy some beef. And I was going to wait because I was going to put it in my house, uh, in my new deep freezer, in my new house. But, you know, all this is delayed. And I literally just went on somebody's Instagram and the dude bought a half of a cow. Man, I'm telling y'all. In the course, I'm going to do a whole section where I show y'all how people are going to take these little farms, these little little two acres, less than an acre, and they're going to be making money. They're going to make a 10 to 12 grand a month because the, the drive for, you know, these suburban moms, you know, even if it's a recession, you know, they want to have healthy food and healthy products. I promise you that there's so many different ways that you can make money. And that's part of what I'm going to teach in the class. And like, <clears throat> there's stuff I want to talk about. And the reason I want to put it in a course and not on here is because people don't understand. I would be back and forth arguing with people about how to do the A, B, and C. And I don't want to spend my days like that. I'd rather spend my days, us and all, in a live Zoom or a live training. And we're talking back and forth. And we're basically having a mastermind. Because I know what's coming. And like I was telling somebody earlier, I was on Facebook. And, you know, uh, a semi-truck trailer is usually around... 20 grand, 10 to 20 grand. You get used, the older you get about eight grand, six grand low. That's a stream, right? Or you get that at the auction. Well, all of a sudden I'm on there and people are selling them for four grand, five grand, three grand. And people say, well, they're probably no good. And I'm looking at the pictures. I'm looking at the inside. I'm like, it's just fine. There's nothing wrong. If we're three weeks in and people are selling $20,000 equipment for three and four grand, it's, it's here. And for those of you who are smart enough, who are going to be in that class, when I show you how you're going to, you can make a million, like, like I have the thing thrive in the recession. I'm not even joking. 
I know everybody's out here like, oh my God, the sky is falling. They already said in one state that the um, cases are seeming to turn down. So they're starting to slow down. So I think that means a lot of people have stayed in home. Um, a lot of people are wearing masks. A lot of people are, you know, taking the vitamin C. A lot of people are getting getting better. Like, hey, this is the new norm. We're going to take vitamins. We're going to take supplements. And I'm even going to show you inside the course um, how I know three people right now who are selling vitamins like crazy. And, <laughs> and I was like laughing at first, but I was like, oh, yeah. People are looking for that now more than ever, right? They're looking for ways to improve their body, take care of themselves, and that's the best time. The course is titled "The Ultimate Twenty Percent." Or you'll see the rise up. It's in the it's in the comments. Here you go. I keep putting it in the comments. That's the bitly. But I I know from like even just trucking. Like I'm gonna break it down in there. How like there's some guys I know right now. They got two trucks and they're like chilling chilling. They don't even need more. They're not even worried. Them and their wife are not worried. They were like, hey, they're going to make me go home, honey. And the kids can't go back to school. And he called me. He was like, oh, we ain't even worried. We're not worried. And what I try to get people to understand is it's all systems. For those of you who are mad at me because I never finished the rise, the middle <laughs> middleman to millions course, it's some of that is going to be in there. Because when I first wanted to do the middleman to millions course, I realized people were not ready. Point blank period. I knew people were not ready to be the delegator. I knew people were not ready to make tough decisions or pay for marketing. And the reason I'm releasing this stuff now is because I know you're ready. I know you see what's happening in the economy. There are going to be all kinds of people that become multimillionaires this year. Let me say that again. There are going to be all kinds of people that become multimillionaires this year. And the reason why is there's going to be a few little changes they make this year. It's going to take them to the next level. While everybody's out here freaking out, I already have a friend right now who's selling drop shipping mask and making a killing. <laughs> and I'm sitting here trying to tell you, like, this is the last time. Like right now, there's people on Facebook and it's going viral where it's like, you know, let people, you know, if you don't. <clears throat> I'm careful. If you don't come out of your house with a new skill or a new new achievement or new whatever certification, don't stress yourself. Worry about your mental health and your health. I can tell you those same people that are sharing that viral post talking about mental health and their kids are wearing them out. Like there was a woman today I almost was sad. She said, y'all, I love my children, but I'm about to lose it over here. I mean, I'm thank God my, my mother's going to take them for a couple of days. And I, a lot of people in there were like, well, where's the father? Take him to his parents' house. Take him over there. Like, this is sad that on Facebook, we're only three weeks in. Literally, she even said it herself, 20 days in, she's exhausted from her own two children. Y'all, this, this is that's bad. And I'm putting, I'm saying this to you because instead of her using this time to go, ooh, we got to set it up so that the kids are tired. I wear them out. They go to bed at a certain hour. And all of a sudden you see all these people on Facebook now talking about they make their kids go to bed at 730. They should have been going to bed at 730 a long time ago. This is what are you talking about? There's no system. There's no structure. And now people are realizing, oh, no, like this may not end tomorrow. I have to put them in a system or a structure. My co my co-worker's boyfriend is a manager at a supplement company. The sales have spiked heavily. Yeah. In the course, I'm going to show you where there's a supplement company that's right here in Oklahoma and right in Dallas. And they will literally ship the stuff for you. You just have to come up with the labels. I mean, there's a million ways people can win right now. And you have to decide. And that's part of why I'm doing the course and I'm doing the live training because, you know, people have to like you have to surround yourself by people who are going to go go get it. Point blank period. I only want to be around people who are go-getters, who want to go get it, who want to do something different. If you out here talking, you know, crazy mess to me, I don't have no time for it. I really don't. And I realize that when I'm out here doing these YouTubes, people like want to fight. People want to fight with me and disagree with me. And I don't have time for it. I really don't. And part of part of this training is I'm, I'm in groups right now. Where they're already like, they're so excited. Oh, you tried typing the link. Which link didn't work? Let me know which link didn't work. 
Oh, the bit.ly. Hold on. Maybe I don't have the thingy. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. Probably because I don't have the HPP in front of it. Mm -hmm. Oops, I fixed it. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I got it. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. All right, everybody. Here you go. This ought to fix that. Sorry about that. But the reason I'm putting it together is because I just, I, I, I want to surround myself with people who are thinking. I just want to surround myself by people who are thinking. And we're going to do live trainings on Tuesdays, probably Tuesday, Thursdays or Tuesday, Saturdays. And, and I'm going to bring my friends in who are actually go-getters, who are actually trying to grow their business, who are actually going to make more money. And here's the here's the thing. Um, when is the best time not to level up? <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, no problem. I mean, but here's the thing. And as I'm as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm like working with my friends and we're so excited. We're like, yo, we're about to make all this money. And it's not even about courses. It's it's like I know somebody right now who wife is sick and I'm trying not to disclose his business too much because I'll mess it up. But he's at home. He's producing videos nonstop and editing nonstop and also taking care of their kid they have and making sure she's OK. And they're basically all quarantined. And he is making a killing off Instagram and, and YouTube right now. And all he's doing is like staging photos and then he pets the baby, make the baby go to bed. Then he takes more photos and he's just editing and he's just working. And literally, I know he's made about 15 grand just from his affiliate marketing and some of his YouTube. I checked it out and I was like, I know he's making money. And all he said he thought of is his wife is sick. We can't go nowhere. We're in Colorado. It's cold anyway. Where are we going? And I was like, that's so smart. That's so smart. And I have another friend who literally joined the military. Nobody knows he joined because he's posted his YouTube videos and he's made sure his Shopify site is dropship only for the past three months while he's been gone. Sherlock Holmes for the first week is just going to be 150 bucks until I figure out how crazy I'm going to make this crazy course. It's just going to be 150 bucks. So you guys better get in for the first week while I'm being nice, like, hmm. How crazy should I make this? Because I see it. And you, and so with the course, I'm not going to you get a private Facebook group. We're going to be in there sharing different techniques and it's stuff we can't share out in the public. It'll be in that private Facebook group you can join. Um, you'll have the you'll have the live trainings. It's 150 for now. I have a friend who told me to make it a thousand dollars, but I'm like, wait, we in the recessions. OK, we's in it. OK, let's first get some of the first students in there. Let's. Get everybody working around. <laughs> Elephant Edge says second week, a thousand nine nine nine. Better get in now. I'm serious. I'm not even joking. It'll start literally our first training is going to be on Tuesday. And I literally my whole point of that, um, I was going to share my screen, but I forgot I'm in this YouTube studio and it won't let me get out. And I, I'm telling y'all, like the excitement in some of the groups I'm in where you have guys who all they have is a $50,000 credit card and they found a property for $23,000 with tenants in it. And the tenants ain't trying to go nowhere. It's just the landlord is broke. I mean, it's stuff like that going to happen. It's stuff right now where I'm on Facebook and I'm seeing like right now, when I talk about you could hire people for $12 an hour and people are like, Oh, Erica, stop talking about that. Listen, listen, listen. The middleman to millions course was all about using home advisor, using some of these other techniques to bring in a ton of traffic. And then you have a one or two or three people you outsource to do all the work straight up. That's the basics of it. That was originally the course. And I was going to show you step by step how we grew the painting company and how we grew the fencing and how we grew the outdoor fencing. We end up doing a fence yard in Georgetown out on a ranch in the middle of nowhere for a lot of money. Because so many hustlers or guys who are painting or paint or doing construction, they just they go off their phone. They're like, oh, hey, OK, I'm busy. Ignore that person. And there's no structure. There's no system. And I can sit here and show you three or four farms right here in the Austin area that are made, just made 
a hundred thousand dollars this past month off of just food. They got the you know you see the jars, the jams, the jellies, the food. Because they, 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 everybody's freaking out. And so the mom or dad who's like, you know, I still want healthy organic food, but I ain't trying to pay them whole them whole foods prices. Went where to these local farms? Went where to these local ranches? Went where bought a whole cow? Straight buying a whole cow. Now there's something I'm gonna tell y'all. People are not paying attention. There is a backup of milk supply. Last year, um, the milk companies canceled about fifty, uh, about fifty uh, farms milk contracts. And guess what? Now they're even more dumpy because restaurants aren't open. So you're not getting all this food production like you usually would. Same thing at the grocery store. And also a lot of people are shifting from milk more towards what? Uh, almond milk, oat milk. And there's a whole thing we're going to talk about in there. I'll bring this to the class. Um, if I can get him to come talk about it, it'll be good. Because I have somebody I want to bring in on it. Um, and I'll probably bring somebody in weekly to talk about a lot of this stuff. But the thing of it is, is like, they're going to be culling some of these herds. Some of these farmers are going to be culling these herds. They're not going to keep all these all these animals. So that's going to make milk prices be, be ridiculous because they're going to be culling so many animals, but it'll make meat prices low. And when you want to get grass fed food right here in Austin, there's at least 20 farms. I know the only reason I even know them, y'all, is the farmer's market that's closed right now and Instagram ads. I don't see Instagram ads by goat, goat meat, sheep, sheep meat, um, uh, cows, pigs, grass fed. They got farms. They're farming stuff at different seasonal times. Right. So now I can't go to the local restaurants in Austin because they're closed or they're doing drive in only. But guess what? You can get it delivered to your house. Or you can come pick it up. I mean, it's it's so much opportunity if you're thinking the right way. If all you're thinking about is, oh, my God, oh, the sky's falling. Look, y'all know I carry the Lucy. Y'all know I carry the heat. I'm not playing out here. I'm not going to be out here reckless. I carry the heat for myself for protection because I know it's possible that people act crazy. Right. But what you have to also be focused on, you can't just be focused on defense like oh, I'm going to fight all these crazy people. People in this economy, like right now, I think if you guys follow me on Facebook, some of you do, some of you don't. There's 1.3 million dollar farmhouses. They keep half built. They kept building them last year, year before, and the year before that. They built a ton of them in Nashville, a ton of them in Charlotte, and they're just now starting to get real popular here in Austin. And I love those houses. I mean, I just love them. I already finished talking to a guy the other day. He said, "I have a feeling the seven empty ones I just saw." They're going to go down to 800,000 at some point. And I was like, yeah, oh, for sure. That's my next house. And they're like, you already moved to your first house here in Austin. I said, I haven't, but that's my next house. I already know what I want because I know how much I can grow my business. And I know how much I've trained my staff just this last week to not need me to be here. Like I literally was here with the door closed. I was like, uh, I'm not here. Handle everyday business like I'm not here and make sure the reports are done on time. And I'm telling you, people, this is the window of this setting up is so you can do it. If you have the mindset that you can delegate without losing your without getting crazy, it's it's a lot of opportunity right now. The course will start this Tuesday. Literally, the first live training will be Tuesday. Um, you know, we're trying to do Tuesday, Thursday or Tuesday, Saturdays, and I'll have people to come in uh, and talk people to come in like. I have credit friends I want to bring in, tell you about different credit techniques. I can't give it away because he said, don't tell it yet. He want to surprise people and then like let them know he's in the course. Um, I mean, just group funding projects. Like I hear people all the time saying, Erica, my sister's got five and this person's got 10 grand. What should I do? And I go, can you put it in a business that's going to make money? Right. Again, I, I did that breakdown the other day about trucking for you guys because I'm that serious on it. I'm like so doubled down on it. Once I figured out the marketplace, I see why so many men just get six trucks and just chill. They don't have to hire anybody other than them and their wife or have one young person they do dispatching or hook up with a couple brokers and the brokers just keep their trucks moving around. Get one dedicated route. I'm telling you, I've seen um, I've seen a lot in this past year. Oh, man. Thank you um, for the $10 super chat. And thank you, Pernell Fonten, for the $25 super chat. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, 
uh, not super chat, their cash app. But thank you, I appreciate it. Um, Ice Age Farmer just spoke about the milk and food shortage. Who's that? Ice Age Farmer? I'll go look them up. But I'll just tell you, I'm in different Facebook groups and I'm in different paid consulting groups. And that's what we've been talking about. We've literally talked about, all right, you guys, we've got some of the 0% credit cards. we got a couple of this. You know, just because, just before American Express or Chase tried to cut some of these cards, what are we investing in? What are we producing? What are we connecting ourselves to? Um, what are we going to dominate in our area? And you got to see the conversation in there. It's lit. And that's why I love YouTube. I love doing this. But people inside the course, they're going to be more into it. They're going to be more into the conversation. They're going to be more focused because they're actually trying to get something out of it. And it's more like a mastermind when it's that way. And that's what I'm that's why I'm doing it, because it's easier to um, grow faster as a group. Even when I'm in the classy climb group, the ten dollar a month group, they're in there dropping free training. They're in there dropping uh, tech jobs that are hiring. They're in there just going at, they're going ham. It's bananas. I'd be like, thank you, Cam Cam. Thank you to Sherry, the business writer. Thank you, this person. Like, I literally have to go there and just be like, thank you. Like, if y'all ain't paying attention again, like, here's all the benefits. Uh, so the ultimate, okay, so the course, <clears throat> the course is called the ultimate 20% rise up. And inside this course, basically what I'm talking about, I'm going to do live trainings because there's a there's a lot of our society that's freaking out right now, but the groups I'm in, there's that 20%, which you'll always have 80-20. That's focused. Like the other day I was on Facebook and I said something about, okay, well, it's just 10 million people. We're gonna allow that people are gonna be get an unemployment, a lot of them are married, it won't be the end of the world. And people were like, ah, Erica. The people who were agreeing with me sent me messages like, I don't know why she's going off on you. I agree. And so I don't want to do these on YouTube where people are giving me pushback. I'd rather do a course. And in the course, essentially, I talk about the next 10 years, really the next two years, you're going to see the biggest transfer of wealth than the last 50 or 100 years. If you're a guy or girl with a plan, follow up, and it's not even always money, you're going to win, period. And so I got the live trainings. I'm going to do them Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursdays or Tuesday, Saturdays. Essentially, I'm going to talk about buying fire sale assets. I'm going to talk about truck millions. I'm going to talk about online millions. I'm going to talk about uh, the farming opportunities I see, like mini farms, miniature farms. I'm going to talk about setting up a budget for a new business because I know a lot of people are like, well, how much do I need? How much do I need? And I'm actually in these groups and talking to people and I'm going to bring people on and they're going to tell you how much it costs them to run this credit repair business or how much it costs them to run that business or how much it costs them to run this farm thing. It's, it's bananas because right now, I'll tell you right now, one of my friends that I'm trying to see if he'll come on and talk, he literally works for these people on this farm for free housing and 800 bucks a month. Now, at first I thought there's no way that's possible. Well, then I actually get out there and he actually showed me his paycheck. He was a veteran. He just wanted to get away from the city. And they were like, here's this brand new mobile trailer, brand new, big, double wide. You know, here's this. Here's the pickup truck you drive around the farm. And we're going to pay 800 bucks just because we're a small startup farm. So he's out there working his little butt off in a routine every day. And there's they started doubling 10 X and what they sold on Instagram. So he realized, hey, hey, I would like to be paid more because he's seeing every Saturday people picking up chickens, picking up eggs, picking up veggies, picking up stuff. He ain't stupid. You know, it cost them some money. But imagine that for the cost of a housing that you probably got for very cheaply. And, you know, people like tiny houses and little cabins and a pickup truck, a Ford Ranger that he drove around. He worked for eight hundred dollars a month and free Internet. There's so many little business models that I'm working with people and I'm talking to them and I'm like, oh, my God, I see why that works. I see what you did to get that. I'm going to talk about how you reach heavy hitters in the industry. Um, I'm going to talk about one day we're going to do it. I had to start over from scratch. What do I do right now? Day one. Uh, I'm going to talk about buying businesses, how I'm buying the business out in uh, Central Texas and how I'm trying to buy this other business later in the year. I'm going to talk about, you know, you know, the farm thing we're going to talk about. But also I'm going to talk about what would I do at one hundred thousand? What would I do with five thousand dollars? What would I do with under twenty thousand dollars? Because most people will have a credit card in the ranges of five thousand to thirty thousand. So a lot of the course I'm going to be bringing people on. We're going to have chats. We're going to make sure we can make up business plans that make sense for you guys. And I just I like the mastermind feel of things. I like coming in.
we're on a Zoom call, we're talking, we're in there. Here's here's the information, and then you know, you guys give me feedback. You're talking. We do it about twice a week. Really, this is an iron sharpens iron moment. I'm just making it 150 now because I haven't thought of the final price. Five take a week, but I know the value it can give because it's the group mentality of like I was talking to somebody the other day, and he was saying, All these people said, Man, you you got one truck, maybe we can get together and buy another truck. And he just jokingly said, Well, I found one for 20k. All his family members called him with five thousand the next day. This is his siblings. And he said, Erica, what do I do? I'm like, are you ready? Did you just make that number up? Now you got to go deliver on that solution. People are looking for solutions in this economy. Same thing with people who are going to want to sell their businesses. The reason I'm buying some of these businesses is the owners are just tired. They can't get no new credit. They really don't want to learn how to get new credit. They don't want to learn new marketing strategies. Like there's one place. I'm just writing down a list of marketing strategies, different little things they could do to make this place jump. And it's it's like a recession proof business. And I'm like, you have something that's so easy. What are you doing? They're just tired. And people can't look at something with fresh eyes like you can when you come to a business. So a lot of the courses that's going over different businesses that you can do right now in this recession, because a lot of people are like, oh, man, I have this money. What should I do? And I go, well, first of all, first pull back. Look at how much you need to survive every month and then look at what business model works best for you. It's a lot of that in there. So but I really want it to be communal. You'll have a private Facebook group that we're just in there sharing because sometimes there's things I want to share. And I'm like, oh, wait, you're going to blow this person up and talk to them to death. And you're not even prepared. Like, I can't share this person if you're going to ask very Googleable questions. I only want to share people who are ready to go to different levels. Right. Because some of these deals aren't even all about money. Some of these deals are you just taking over ownership. There's a lot of things I've come up to where they're pretty much like, I'm ready to walk away here. You can take over the whole ownership of this thing. And you look through the books and you look through the QuickBooks and you go, this isn't a bad business. They just had crazy expectations. I have a friend who uh, he owns a UPS store. UPS store makes 80K a month, 80, 80K a year. After everything's paid, he's got like two employees and a half employee, a part-time person. It makes 80K a year and he's dissatisfied. And we kept asking him like, what's wrong? Why are you so upset about this? You get that's good money. He's like, well, I felt like it was gonna make 150 a year. Who do you know don't want 80k a year? Do you know what I'm saying? It's about expectations. And so sometimes you'll talk to these business owners and they want to sell just because their expectation is different. And it's it's really crazy. I'm sorry. Well, you guys got a line here. I was just rant, going on and on. Okay. Um, you show your work, you're dope. Plus, push us to do better. Courses pay for it. Thanks, LP. Yeah. I mean, essentially inside there, like I can't show y'all people's P&Ls and I can't show y'all people's um, sales in YouTube. I can't do that. Like this is, if I want to bring those particular business people on and I've and I have established myself as a serious businesswoman that I've reached out to like four or five people today and said, hey, can you just come on and show us some numbers? It'll be private. It won't be out in public. It'll be in our side of our class. And people are like, oh, sure, no problem. Free work, no problem. Tell me what day. And I want y'all to get to that point where people are like, you're a serious business person. I'll do. I'll work with you. Annette's Worth is now teaching some of the classes inside Terry's course because Annette's Worth went from nurse to serious student, to $1,000 a day student, to having, she's got a Shopify site, she's got other things she sells. She literally is making killer money with top stocks and she's retired, she's not a nurse anymore. And you can do that same journey in two years. It just depends on being committed to something. That's why when I talk about Terry's class, when someone talks to me, they wanna be in the stock market, I'm like, look, stop. Do you wanna learn technical analysis? Go get my girl Terry's class. If you wanna learn how to make money when the stock market goes up or down, go get my girl Terry's class. You have to decide and commit to something. Now, in this time home, what type of home time do you have? Right. And I was talking to people. I said, if you want to do Terry's class and you want you're going to be home every day and you're going to be studying stocks and studying how the charts are going and technical analysis, you've got time now. Again, it just depends on what you want to do. You're right, Erica, this virus has showed how many weak, many people financial finances are and lack of cohesion in our house. Yeah, I'm telling you, when I read that thing, I was so sad. If five men in a house 
And the first, when the first four lost their job, the fifth guy should have been like, y'all, let's go buy a bunch of food. Let's go buy a bunch of this. Let's go buy a bunch of, let's get gas. Let's go, you know, he should have been immediately. When he saw the first four lose their job, he should have been in a, in a thought process. Um, and same thing with the YouTuber who paid for his parents' house. They only had $75,000 left in the house or was it 100? It was close to 100 or something. But in that moment, it was like, if my parents' house is paid off, they have no stress. That's the only thing that's holding them back. And part of when people sit here and go, oh, I wouldn't want to have real estate. No, no, no. The people you're hearing that are complaining about real estate right now have huge loans on it. People who bought cheap properties and their tenants paying five, six hundred dollar rent, they're not stressed. Several people I know in Cleveland, Detroit, their tenants paid all their bills. Uh, several people in Houston paid all their rent. Eighty percent of people in uh, Dallas, this guy was telling me his one unit uh, complex he has. It's a little rundown. I don't, I don't particularly like it, but it's his. He said he paid the rent. It wasn't even a stress. It wasn't even a thought. So you got all this hysteria out there because people are one living above their means, two, living in luxury apartments, three, they ain't even got food for two weeks. So if you're watching my YouTube channel and you have enough sense to go, well, I've got 20, 30 pay, I can go do this. That's a no brainer. That's why you're going to have a 20% rise up of people that are not going to live like everybody else. And my friend said, well, what about, you know, if you start making all this money, people are going to know. Only people going to know is if you tell. Again, there's people who all the time on, on Twitter tell me how they got two rental properties. They haven't told their family anything because their family wouldn't understand or they start asking for money. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. What's up, Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Thank you, Kubera. <laughs> I, listen, if you love Game of Thrones, which I loved it before they killed the days, they just broke my heart into pieces. Chaos is not a pit. Chaos is a ladder. If you can stand above the chaos and look and go, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Now, many people are like, oh, you diving deep into trucking. Why are you trying to buy this place? And I was like, I've been reading for months on legislation for truck parking, which they're going to back up with millions of dollars, which if you have your minority certification, you're going to be in line first all to get it. Many people are like, oh, there's not enough money in, in, in uh, government grants. Why would you even chase that? I'm not going to chase it. I'm hiring a girl on staff who's going to come in twice a week. And she's, that's all she's going to do is look for, look for the government contracts. That's what she's going to do. That's all she's doing all day. Fill out the template, fill out everything they need. If we actually win one, then she needs to go start looking for people who are going to fulfill the contract. That's her job. For pennies on the dollar. I even told her, I said, if, I said, if you do good work, I might let you work from home. So now she's making twelve dollars an hour just to look online on this on this government website. That's it. And fill out a template. You you know what I'm saying? But people say, why wouldn't you do it yourself? Because that's the difference in business ownership and being a hustler, right? Business ownership is I'm going to pay somebody a small bit of their their money, my money for their time. Now she can owe it over there, and she may get us a half a million dollar contract or a million dollar contract this year. You think $12 an hour is worth it? Yeah. Food prices will plummet, then skyrocket. I trust local farmers more than Whole Foods. Whole Foods gets its or organic frozen veggies from China. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. Any advice for a commercial driver? I've been doing it for eight years. It depends on what you want to do. That's a loaded question. You can go all kinds of ways. Like I know people right now who are just dispatching. That's all they're doing. I know people who are becoming freight workers. I know people who are contacting shippers. Um, it depends on what you want to do. When I look on here and I see in trucks for sale for 15 grand, 17 grand, 18 grand, ain't nothing wrong with them. I have a mechanic that can go check it out. It's telling me people is tight. People is in a tight situation. Ah, uh, see, yep, yep. Tyler, I would agree. <clears throat> forced recession that that'll lead to a forced gentrification in the South and then the Rust Belt. Yep. I'm about to send my mom a box of food slash seeds to plant because I already see it too. I'm telling you, it's it's. Listen, the whole niche farming. It was a few years on YouTube where niche farming blew up, homesteading blew up, 
it's going to blow up again. I promise you right now, if you go look at some of the Homestead channels, they are blowing up right now. Ron IV, it depends on which way you want to go in the trucking business. That's a loaded question. I have a C CDL. Is it wise to get a truck completely on credit? B Lee, it depends. Are you driving the truck? Are you putting a driver in the truck? I mean, I wouldn't get some of the loans they're offering are garbage. I'll just put you like this. You pay, they're like $40,000 trucks. You're putting 30% down. If you're a CDL driver, sometimes 10% down. Then your loan's $1,500 for 36 months. You're paying $57,000 for a $40,000 truck. And if you're smart, the truck can make you $2,000 to $5,000 a week. But that's if you have your own authority. If you don't have your own authority, then you're talking about less. I mean, that's that's a loaded thing. I can't just give you a simple number. Shouldn't Squarespace win off all this and where we're going? Um, actually, no, because Squarespace is tied up to like a PayPal and Stripe. People are tripping. The Facebook group is lit. How do we get into the group after you purchase course? Inside the course, if you go down the scroll down where it says Facebook group, It'll say, join the Facebook group. Click that button. It'll take you to the Facebook group and you request. I turned in to your video the other day and went and bought the trucking course. I am hoping to be part of income shift that is up and coming. Congratulations. Which course did you get? I'm not playing this year. I'm tired of driving trucks and living broke five broke. <laughs> Anytime I hear broke five broke, that cracks me up. I'm sorry. I'd like to invest in farms. I mean, yeah, listen, y'all, if you go, and I'm going to break it down in the course, but if you go right now, right now, Craigslist, you go, you go 20, 30 minutes outside of town, and the most thing you're going to be worried about is someone coming onto the farm. Hence, like, that's why I told you about my friend who literally is a vet. He would never tell us how much he was getting paid. He never would tell us. And finally, he broke it down and said, yeah, I'm only getting paid, um, Sorry, hold on a second. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, what were you? On the drivers. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, the place I work isn't shut down, but my hours have gotten cut. Can I still file for unemployment? Sorry, I'm only 20. I have no idea on unemployment. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not sure. They may have given y'all these lower hours so you can't file for unemployment, honestly. Yes, I'm going to talk about real estate in there, Valerie. I'm going to talk about how I'm purchasing, um, basically how I'm going to go about purchasing a lot of different properties. Uh, and when people think I'm talking about Texas Ground Zero, like I'm pretty much I'm only going to focus on Texas for the next three years. Like I see all the charts and graphs for where businesses are going and gas stations are going. And like the other day, there was a gas station for sale for fifty thousand dollars. I kid you not. Now, it was in a little run down nowhere spot. But if you put in the right management and make sure it has a lot of little stacks, because people in that area like to walk to that store. Hey, it, people make a lot of money that way. Alex, the only course I'm talking about is the one that we're talking about right now, the Rise Up. If you watch other videos and you want to get the tax lien course, get it. If you watch other videos, you want to get other courses, get it. Trucking companies are booming right now. I'm a dispatcher and we've been extra busy. I also have my CDL debating if I should hop in a truck on my days off. Lanton, 
there's a lot of different ways that can go. Because I told you there was a there was a couple runs on flatbed where our guys were making three thousand. It was like a three thousand dollar load from Midland, no, from Houston to Midland. And then there's been a bunch for a thousand one hundred from Houston to Midland. That's a daily thing. If I can share my screen, I'd show you all the time. I mean, inside the course, I'll show y'all that board. It won't be that big of a deal because it, it, it's bananas. Once you learn it, it's like not even a big deal. Minimalism builds money. People really miss that, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a part of the crafting your budget or knowing how much you're spending because it's easy. And I'm talking from a position. Uh oh, it said the internet was unstable. Uh oh, internet back. Am I back, you guys? Put a one in the comments if I'm back. Put a one in the comments if I'm back. I don't know if the internet's working or not in a second. Um, there's a place where, you know, when you start making 10 or 20 grand a month your spending can get crazy. And if you can tamp down on that spending, I know people right now who own three or four trucks and they are struggling. And I'm like, what's going on? Their wife, their wife is spending, want new cars, want trips. The best thing about this whole Corona is they can't go on no trips. She has to sit still and they have to kind of develop a nerve to tell her no, honestly. Uh, lose twice. I said for the next seven days, for the next seven days, I'll keep it 150. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to think about it for the whole week, what I should make it. But yeah, for about uh, a week, I'm going to leave it that way, I think. Logan Cooper, I don't because honestly, in the course I'm talking about, a lot of times when I talk, there's a couple videos go if you go back and see it, go where the money is, go where the magnet is, go where the training is. Like if somebody has money and is doing something you want to do and you could come up alongside them and work for them cheaply, I would do it because you're going to get the value you're going to get um, out of working up under someone. It, and I'll be careful. Inside the course, I want to show you how, like, if you treat your employees a certain way or give them responsibilities or give them titles of manager, people work harder for the title manager than they do for money. I'm for real. Like, like people will make a, like 500 bucks a month, but as long as they're called manager, they don't care. Like my friend who was out there on that farm, he was the farm manager making $800 a month, y'all. People people work for different reasons. Do you see what I'm saying? As long as they feel like they're on a coast with a company that cares or does little certain things for them or pushes them in the right direction, they're cool with it. Um, no, Blackbird Holding, I will not talk about YouTube money. I'm going to talk about like Shopify, e-commerce, different things that are popping. And I'm going to bring on different people who have popping sites and like show you what they're doing. Uh, my YouTube stuff is all in the YouTube course. If you want to talk about YouTube, making money from YouTube, growing your business via YouTube, that's all in the YouTube course. And I promise you, it's worth it. We're in there every Wednesday, just slacking it up. Like it's crazy. We have a pretty good time in there because I know, um, the long-term power growth of YouTube. Just, it's crazy. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Cam Cam. Oh, goodness. It jumped up. I think I lost somewhere. Um, I think this is right where it is. I might have to consider Texas. I mean, listen, there's going to be a lot of people moving. You'll see it. Thank you for the $10 ITL DYI and hacks. That's a good title. Listening to your live and just bought the new course while working on content from one of my YouTube channels. Congratulations. Trust me. The people who are working on YouTube right now, they're going to get it. Thank you, Thyro, for the $2 super chat. Just bought the course. I like, I, they, here's the thing. If you, you ever climb up on the benches in the football game and you can see better just for a little bit, like, oh man, I can see better. And then you're tired, you want to sit back down. If you, this is what the economy is doing right now. If you're one of the people who are going to stand up, you're going to, it's going to be like, do you know how many painters who I used to work with been calling my phone because I kept the same number? Called my Google voice, like, hey, just see if you have work. I'm like, man, I sold that company. You better call uh, my buddy, Mr. Bryant. He's the one who still has it, but he does mostly fencing now. And he is a real estate agent. He doesn't put up a fence, y'all. Like he still has fencing jobs every week and doesn't touch a hammer or a nail. Literally, we have staff does that. And that's why when I was doing it with Middleman to Millions, I was like, you have to understand most 
blue collar guys, they have no organization. Like they know what they're doing this week and next week. If they don't have a wife or a girlfriend or a mom organizing their stuff, they don't care. Listen, you guys saw it in the last video. Somebody said in the comments that they work with um, movers and they have to pay them in cash. And if they don't have cash, it's like World War III. Trust me, every Friday, these drivers are like, where's my money, Miss Williams? I need my money. I just need it. And then you're like, by Sunday, they're ready to come back to work. And I'm like, y'all, they don't even have bank accounts. Someone don't even have bank accounts. Like, I'm not trying to embarrass them. Someone might see this video. I don't, I'm not scared. They don't have bank accounts. They have PayPal. Some of them like need to Walmart the money. That's why I even know about Walmart because I have to Walmart the money to some of them. That's how unorganized. And I'm not talking bad about these people. I'm just saying they're hard workers. They're hard working men. They're great people. They just are unorganized. And if you're organized and you know where you're going, you're the 20%. And the 20% will be millionaires in this economy. People think I'm joking. Warren Buffett's gonna get richer. All these business people that make sense that are holding on right now are going to get richer. Part of the reason why I even filled out all that SBA stuff is the guys and girls who are going to get 100000 to 200000 right now. Yeah, they may hate SBA because they're asking them 5,000 questions. But if they're smart, oh, my God, if you're smart right now, you can buy out your competition. You can outlast your neighbors. You can pay your rent up for a year. You can buy all kind of marketing. You could literally just reinforce your company. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. Exactly, Sherry. Yep. That's thank you, Sherry Holler, for sharing that. Gas stations would be good to own when the crisis is over. If Middle Eastern and Asian people can, so can we. Honey, I keep trying to tell people, look. When people were saying, why are you focusing on trucks? You're a YouTuber. I go, service businesses make money day and night. YouTube may not make no money today. YouTube may not make no money tomorrow. But guess what? Them trucks will make money every day. Every day they're on the road, they're making money. Now, can they also make me some headache? This is true. They can make me some headache. But most days, they're making me some money. And in turn, it'll make my investors some money. And then there's people I know right now who are buying more trucks. And they're doubling down. And there's all these guys, I need a job, I need a job. I'll drive for weeks on end, as long as you have their pay set aside. You dig what I'm saying? Those little corner gas stations, I know people think this is silly what I'm going to say, but those little corner gas station folks are going to be hecka rich. When they can't go to the store because it's quarantine, they can't go far. Corner store got some bread. Yeah, the bread's overpriced, but it got some bread. Oh, it's got some sandwich meat. Sandwich meat overpriced, but it's got some sandwich meat. These people in these corner store owners are going to make money too. Because common sense would say, I just use Instacart or HEB curbside. But a lot of these people living in certain areas, they don't think about it like that. They're not organized. They're not thinking long term. They're thinking short term, immediate. I need this money now. JG Wentworth, give me some money now. I have people right now that I've talked to that are trying to sell their businesses. They don't even, they don't even want... <coughs> They don't even want cash in their pocket right now. They just want someone to officially take over all the headache and the payments of whatever their business is attached to. I promise you of that. This is what's happening right now. Look, there you go, Jabrash. I just signed up for Terry's class and I'm promoting as affiliate. That's and as you should be. We'll talk about affiliate money inside this course too because a lot of y'all running around talking about people's stuff and you don't even make no money from it. It's crazy. Plenty of time to learn slots. I bet these five men don't know how to cook, too. Ugh, honey, I pray they do. I mean, even if they just making spaghetti, I mean, that's dangerous. <laughs> Sherry, the business plan writer, for the five dudes in the house with no food, I bet one of them does have money but doesn't want the others to know. He may be scared of what the other roommates will do. I could believe that. Every recession, people are forced to train and learn a new skill, change jobs. You must prepare. 2008, I had to train. Curtis Davis, this is true. Right now, there's a hotel, and people would call it probably run down, if they're being honest. And it's charging like $52 a night, and it's full. I drove by another day on my way to go see the trucks, and I was like, this place 
is full. And it's not full with like, you know, drug addicts or crazy people. It's full with college students who are didn't want to leave town. It's full with um, tradesmen, people with tool trucks, you know, with tools all over the back and ladders all over the back. It's full with people who are working every day in the systems I'm telling you about. When I keep telling you that these guys who are blue collar and they make money, but their spending is ridiculous or they have a skill and they have no organization. If you're smart enough to put yourself in an organization and literally can market and get them paid every Friday, some people would gladly take that over owning their own business. Now, will Jerome or Jesus do some do some stuff on the weekend and don't tell you for sure they're going to paint. They can do all kind of stuff on the weekend. They just ain't going to tell you. People are finally leaving Cali. Thank God. Nah, they still out there hard. Thank you, Blackbird Holden. I'll see you in the side. How do you get in the class? John, John, the links are in the chat. I'll put it in there again. Links are in the chat. Logan Cooper, chaos is not a pit. Chaos is a ladder. That's Game of Thrones, baby. That's Littlefinger. He literally controlled Westeros enough. Just enough. Remember, when you get inside of the course, go down to the Facebook group one, click the Facebook group link, and then go into the Facebook group. There's Apple Turning and Cat. There is. These Instagram influencers and YouTube celebrities are real quiet about stunting. <laughs> Honey, I can tell you right now, I'm in groups if I can snitch on people without getting sued. There are people who've been stunting and they've only been making $100,000 a year. But you would think they make it 400,000, 500,000 a year. And the average YouTuber and the average um, people you're seeing out here, um, when I would go to stuff, I'd go, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm making this much money a month. And they would sit there and be like, what? I was like, yeah, I'm making this much money yet. And I would be asking them how much they're making. And a lot of them would be only making $2,000, $3,000 a month, $4,000. But what you got to understand is the average American is making three grand a month. So if you're a YouTube, and you're doing a combination of affiliates and stuff and you're making three grand a month and you're just making videos and chilling and eating out with your friends here and there. You're living the good life. That's how a lot of them have been doing it. Now, when the economy's a little tight, I've, I've had three YouTubers so far do a video talking about some sponsors have backed out. I immediately gave them $25. I didn't even question it because I know they live, two or three of them live in California. And all I can think of is like, you're poor kids, you're poor kids because you can't depend on this money. You have to save some of this money. You have to invest some of this money these sponsors are giving you. People have paid me to help them complete their 8-8 certification. There's lots of money in federal government contracts. <clears throat> you just have to know how to work the system. Sherry, the business plan writer, will, you know what? We'll have a, a segment where you can talk about 8-8 then. I mean, that's how flexible I am with this because I know once you start getting in a conversation with certain people, <laughs> Business 10x growth. I'm telling you, people, people are literally not paying attention. You y'all gotta know what you want first and utilize efforts and others on how to get there. Pretty much. I got 2.0 course from Hood States. They're offering 20% off. Congratulations. Do people need money? B. Lee asks, do people need money in hand to benefit from this course? No, I'm going to talk to you about how some of these people I'm just taking over like paperwork. I'm literally just taking over on paper and promising future payments. I'm literally there's some businesses where the people are so like, here you go. And what you got to understand is nine times out of 10, these businesses are making money. The person just is mismanaging it, honestly. And the way that you circumvent that is by making all the money go to the new bank and really hardcore monitor what they're doing. There's there's so many ways we could talk about that. Even with the million, the middleman, the millions, uh, we didn't even have money the first 45 days. We literally just had like Craigslist and got a bunch of painting jobs. And then we made them have a stripe. When the people swiped the stripe, it went to us. Okay. And then we paid them out of the stripe. Y'all trust me. It's a million ways to do this. 
Tara Boyd, I'm so glad I started claiming my credit months ago. Yeah, and I'm gonna bring a couple of my credit friends on to talk about corporate and business level funding. I'm not gonna go too, I'm not gonna talk too much on it here. I'm just gonna bring them on and let them speak because I know some of the stuff I'm doing, some of the stuff I'm doing in other groups, y'all. The thing of it is, is so many people want to run under the radar and they don't want to use QuickBooks and they don't want to use an accountant. That's where they mess themselves up because here's what's going to happen. As this economy thing goes on, people who have consistency in business, consistency in bank account, deposits, accountants, CPAs, business equity. So it keeps growing up, going up, going up. They start developing business, uh, business relationship with bankers going up, going up. You're going to be ahead of the crowd. If the average person in the economy is making three grand, I'll, I'll tell you this way. A lot of times I go to my bank and I get out five grand for whatever personal business reasons I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No need to display. They make me sign a paper every time. And I go, why am I signing this paper? What's this paper about? They're like, well, you're taking such a large amount. I'm like, people don't come to bank and take five grand. She's like, no, honey, they don't. She's like, if they take a thousand, they pay their mortgage or they put in a cashier's check. You're the only person comes here and gets a thousand. This is Navy Federal Credit Union. There's no way in heck you can't tell me there's not people who are officers, uh, high ranking military that make 10K and they ain't taking no big money out the bank. This is how the economy, again, we're talking about broke population, not saving, just kind of living week to week, you know, cook out to cook out, you know, chilling out, chill out. There's no kind of planning. If you can be that person for 90 days that's planning and that gives someone a solution or plan, then they're like, okay, yeah. I, trust me, when people are stressed out or they're tired or something and they want to put it down, I've had hairdressers literally come to my mom and my sister like, if you just run our marketing, we'll just come work for you. And they got a whole business over there. My sister don't even want to do hair. And then people come here, can I just work for you? And it's part of the E-Myth Revisit is where people have a skill, but they are not necessarily a business owner. There's a lot of people right now that are, I'm trying to purchase their business from them. They are craftsmen. They just aren't business owners. They're like holding on by neck by the threads. I started my windowsill garden in January. I got beans, greens, tomatoes, you name it. Girl, I'm telling you. Can Omar operators apply for SBA loans that Donald Trump are promoting for truth? Uh, Jamika, last time I checked when I looked on there, they can. I would always say def definitely go back and check uh, Meet Kevin's video. He does a really great job of explaining it. You can still apply because you're affected by the virus. This is true. What about coding? Mike, that's tech right now is 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 a no brainer because the, the thing about tech is there's nobody looking to do that. Right. And the reason I say there's no one looking to do that, because people every time I bring on Kamoy or I bring on Mr. Johnson and we talk about tech, the first thing everybody asks is, do I need math? Oh, do I need math? Oh, do I need math? And you'd be like, math is stopping you from 10K, 12K. OK, cool. So that's why I'm saying when people think there's this big comp competition in tech, there really isn't because people always think tech will include math or it'll be hard. Lewis Luck, a great course to get is Trucking Justin's authority course or Hood Estates course. And you guys see, like, I'm not even worried about the affiliates. I'm not even putting them, promoting them hard even in the year. I'm telling you. When does the new course start? It starts on Tuesday. I do my first live training. Um, Tuesday and Thursdays will be you guys' spot, or Tuesdays and Saturdays. But I know this Tuesday is starting. Yeah, Black Bear Hope. Like, if you're in this first batch that get in at 150, you're good. You're good. Anybody that comes in late, sorry, I'll probably have it higher. Not certain what number I'll make it. My friends told me making a thousand dollars, but I'm like, yeah, it's a recession right now. Let's get let's get moving. Let's get people, you know, learning and then we'll worry about it later. Oh, yeah. Renaissance woman. What's up, Andre Hatchet? Man, y'all got a lot in here. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, 
Y'all got a lot in here. Hold on. I'm trying to catch it. Karen Jackson, I say it all the time. I don't want the title. I want the money. You'd be surprised how many people want the title. If you call somebody a manager, honey, people want that title so bad. I'm telling you right now, I've been like, would you like to be my YouTube manager? My social media manager. Like, people love that. I'm homeschooled my now 22-year-old triplets while my spouse worked at these stressed out parents. I know it's sad. Three received full academic rights. I mean, I mean, this is part of why I work how I work because I'm when I have these babies, I'm going to be home with them. I'm sorry. Like, I put in the work. And right now, this office, this week, I'm so proud of the guys because they handled it without me. They just, they did call me a little too much, but they did were like, hey, just want to double check. Just want to double check. Just, just want you to prove. I'm like, Make a decision. You got it. Make a decision. And that's when people love working for you. And they feel like, okay, I'm going to make this decision. People can save money with proper banking. Rosie Milano just said, who don't have a bank account 2020? Honey, 47% of Americans don't have a bank account. They're either underbanked or uh, basically what it means is they go take their money and cash at the local check stores. They cash it at Walmart. Again, when I told y'all Walmart crashed on Friday when I was there, it was a panic. It had all these people like, what's happening? And the people were like, oh, it crashed. It's been crashing over all these stores. It's like something's happening. And I'm glad I did mine early in the morning because when I went back by later to send the second part, they had already crashed. I want to start a YouTube channel for business purposes, but I don't know what I want my channel to be about. Shy, join my YouTube course. We do a lot of work out there. Thank you, Chris. Consider investing in trucking. I mean, it's, it's a good opportunity. You can't outsource service. How can I reach your company's email? Sheila, what do you want? Are you trying to reach one of my staff, my assistants? Let me know. Thank you. I'm busy. I'm so I'm so used to grocery store delivery curbs I pick up every week until three or four weeks ago. Now it's book solid. A week out or more corner stores could clean up. Mm -hmm. So your goals, be, oh, I see, I see you're talking about 40% of the population don't have a bank account or are under bank. Yep, they kicked the students out of dorms. And so this, this hotel had all these college students over there. And I was like, a little dirty little hotel y'all at. What's wrong with your parents? You might as well go home. Getting my FFL ASAP finance is not the business going forward. Done the finance guy. Listen, there's things I can say about that, but I'm not. Baby boomers are retiring with drawing their money from the stock market. The millennial group are not investing stocks. Their family own an avocado farm in the country. Listen. Amazon cannot deliver my YouTube equipment sooner. Going to have to settle for handheld videos for now. Listen, you better get a little, um, get the little tripod. See if you can get them at Best Buy while you're just local. Erica, this course is going to be a game changer. I'm hoping so. Like I just, I, I know between the private Facebook group and the live training, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The price is gonna go up. But this first week, if you get in, you in. I ain't worried about it because I see it. Like I'm like everybody's like ah. Oh, oh my god i'm like what are you stressing about stop 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 take a deep breath look around there's so much like pennies on the ground just pick them up like there's a lot i can talk about but i'm stop <clears throat> aegon the conqueror aegon i love Game of Thrones. I got 20,000 to spare. How can I use it to make money in this economy? Aegon, that's a loaded, loaded, loaded question. But guess where you can answer it? 
inside the course. I have a whole set of things where I'm going to do. If you have $100,000, if you have $5,000, if you have $1,000, like what are realistic things we can do um, and break it down for you. Credit is going to be important, Curtis, but you know what's, what's second, like almost more important is the cash flow. Um, I was talking with the guy and he was like, are you getting daily deposits from your factoring company? And I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, perfect. It, it, it was almost like they're almost like truck moving, money coming in, truck moving, money coming in, truck moving, money coming in. Even when I tried to explain the YouTube course, because the, it was so much um, in my, my account that goes with my YouTube, they were like, what are you doing? What are you selling e-commerce? And I was like, oh, no, no, I YouTube. And they were like, and consulting, they were like, okay, okay. Because they seem it's about people with pe the average American. I keep telling y'all this, the average American, $3,000 or less. Then you're talking about 40% ain't even got a bank account. Now, Mick Romney says something that everybody hated him. He was like 47% of Americans, they never want to be like overly responsible for themselves. Now, the way he said it was distasteful, but I understand what he said. Again, when I made that chart on the on the uh, office wall over there where I said, you know, you got the John Snows, no nothings, and then you got the people that kind of know, don't care because they're, they're living comfortable, like they done got comfortable even now in this new normal. There's somebody somewhere probably really poor and they're still like, well, I'm doing okay. We got food, we got cheap gas, 99 cent gas in Kentucky. Again, you're gonna see the highest increase of the ring doorbell sales ever. You're gonna see neighborhood watch go through the roof. You're gonna see securities and neighborhoods go up because there's a level of people who their response to this is more crime, right? And I remember being in our neighborhood, super middle-class neighborhood with my mom and this guy walked around putting flyers on the door. He's like, hey, someone broke into our car and stole our golf clubs and our laptops. And everybody was like, oh my God, did they break the windows? How did they get in? He was like, well, the door was unlocked, but this is a great neighborhood. My mom talked to him a little bit more, closed the door and said, what an idiot. <laughs> like, like, even if it's not like that, easy crime where you could have just locked the door to your tie hole in our middle class neighborhood on the lake. And let's be honest, a lot of little white kids walk around the neighborhood. So I think they just, just assumed it was not a problem. I'm like, that's who would be stealing. Thank you, uh, Michelle, for the cash app. <clears throat> I'm in the process of staying in credit repair, starting a credit repair and business credit service. There you go. You're going to make a lot of money. I love cookouts in the summer. I'm telling you, I'm getting my house clean and organized, going to travel the world. Lewis Luck, you know what? How about this? Put you in time out. There you go. Go take a sit down. Um, which, uh, Warren Buffett bought 130 million ounce, $1 billion worth for a hedge from hyperinflation. Yeah. How do you gain the business acumen? Um, experience, trial and error, studying, reading, uh, knowing how people are, knowing how, like, what are people's problems? Solving people's problems. It's a big thing. If you can come with a solution, that's really what people are hungry for is solutions. I keep saying my connection is unstable. Is it unstable, you guys? You guys let me know if it's unstable. Can you guys hear me? Did it did it bleep off at all? Put a one in the comments if you it didn't bleep off. First lady leg, legacy. What's the difference between hood estates and trucking Justin course? Um, trucking Justin has a authority course. How to have your own authority. Uh, when you have your own authority, you have your insurance. Um, you actually can dispatch yourself. You can actually send your truck wherever you want, and you get the money coming to you. Um, the factoring is where you get paid every day. 
Um, the hood estates course is a more passive income way where you're going to put it on a third party uh, provider. They'll, they might get the driver. You might get the driver. Um, and then you split it in the week 50 50 with the driver. So it, it just depends on where you're at. When you get over a certain number of trucks, three, four, five, it's hard to be passive. Um, again, 90% of all trucking carriers have six trucks or less. So the average person that talks to me is going to get one drug, maybe two. Um, but yeah. Live in cookout to cookout. Come on, everything, John. You know they do. That's how people be doing. They just live in cookout to cookouts. Thank you for the super chat. When you go to beauty school, they teach you nothing about business asset. They just want, they just teach you what you need to pass boards. That's very true. Uh, not at the moment, smooth D smooth. Like I have some for one or two people, but not. It's hard. Nope. Right now, my course is 150 for the next seven days until I raise it to a higher price. I don't know if I'm raising it to a thousand or I don't know, maybe more. I mean, you're basically getting live trainings where we're going to be just the people inside our group is going to be in there Tuesdays, Tuesday, Thursdays or Tuesday, Saturdays. And then also we're going to have um, people come in and also a private Facebook group. I mean, most people charge. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Some of my counterparts are charging seven thousand, five thousand dollars for stuff like that. I'm charging 150 for the first week till I figure out what I want to charge because it is a recession. There's certain type of people I want in there. There's certain type of people I'd rather not be in there. But people who are go-getters, they'll get in. It'll be all good. Farmers will be the next people in Lambos and Ferraris. Brady Allen, if you guys don't even don't have to believe me, go look up. Um, he's a little short gray man that lives in China now. Um, older white guy. He talks about he talked about this for ten years, and everybody thought he was full of crap. He was like, "Farmers are going to drive Lambos, and they're going to be living in rich rich neighborhoods, right?" And he's like, "Oh, you're full of crap." But think about it: when you have this food shortages come on and issues with the UK and their food problems, and they want Africa to produce more food, and China's taking a lot of Africa's food, United States is the next big big person producing food. Yes, Argentina and Brazil produce a lot of food, but you got a lot of political issues down there. See, look at this person. She said, let's talk about people who don't do online banking in 2020. Some are my family members. How do you join the YouTube course? Um, I can put the link in the chat. Do I have the link? And I'm going to send an email out after this video renders and send it out to um, different uh, email list. There you go. Posted a bunch of times. I'm determined to join a class. I want a piece together to payment for the class. Sheila, do what you got to do, man. Sheila, they do. They be like, do I need Sheila P? Do I need math? That's the number one thing they ask me all the time. I'm like, figure out what you need. No, Alex, this course, I'm, are you talking about a hood estate striking course or this? This is going, it's just 150 for the class period for now until I decide what to make it. And once you're in, you're in. Um, no, the course is going to talk about economic online group, buying businesses. Um, it's going to talk about a lot of things. Nine cent gas ain't going to save you. It really ain't though. Okay, Jay Preston, I will work on that. As soon as I get off here, I'll try to fix it. Um, 
Yeah, crime is going to shoot up in certain areas for sure. There's going to be buffer areas where um, there just be buffer areas. Like, like when I was over in Lakeway, you ain't going, you ain't going over Lakeway and robbing nobody and being able to drive out. You just ain't going to do that. <laughs> Ring doorbell, fenced in yard, security camera all around the perimeter. Pew, pew, no HOA here, upper middle class neighborhood with lots of business owners and libertarians. We don't play. I'm telling you. Right now, like even when I was telling my friend why I wanted to move to where these modern farmhouses are that are $800,000, she was like, oh, that's a lot of money. Why that? I'm like, it's the neighborhood. I'm not paying for the house. I'm paying for the neighborhood and the house. Because after that, my only other option would be move out in the country. Mark Daly, Air Guy started a cybersecurity business focused to help small business, private, dental, and medical practices. Good business to have. Yeah, because people are going to try to break in and find their their information for uh, their information for people's money, cards, how they pay, all kind of stuff. Uh, money making access. Uh, it, there's a face join the Facebook group inside the, the course. If it's messed up, I'll fix it. Anthony Bass is always going to be in the afternoons. The live trainers are always going to be in the afternoon unless I just let you know in the Facebook group that one of my friends can't come on to early in the day or something to that effect. You can go to your state small business development center and get resources. It's true. I'm telling them development classes. I never would see. I didn't see a lot of people of color. So Terrence, inside the course, when I talk about land, it's always in its proximity to a city. How close can people pick up uh, veggies, fruit, items, wine, you name it. I mean, there's a big market for that. And I'll go over different farms inside the course and I'll go over different people. I'm trying to get two people to come on and talk about how they run their businesses. But All right, Bento Rosario, congratulations. Anthony Bass, it probably will be central time. So it'll probably be something like five to seven or five to eight in the afternoons. Um, if it's on a Saturday, it'll probably be midday. Jim Rogers, thank you. If you go Google Jim Rogers, farmers will be millionaires. He was he was 15 years late, but he's still he's still 100% correct. There's a lot of farmers who are small time farmers, farm time small wholesalers, and they're making a killing because let's be honest, that whole Chip and Joanna Gaines, that whole like country living, and people want to have some canned jars of food, and you know it's a it's a people want to. Be, be in touch with the earth. <laughs> if anybody tries to rob you, you're going to start coughing. <laughs> yep, my Texas Organic Gardening Group has exploded with new members because people want to make sure they can eat. That's right. And it's something they can get their kids into. Nope, they will not be monthly pleased for this class. Like, I, I'm really serious. I, my thing is, I want to have good energy around me. How do I have good energy around me? When I come on YouTube, I'm coming and I'm sharing information, but I have a feeling of like a little bit of resistance in the chat sometimes. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. But when I go and I do these mastermind talks or these live trainings, we're all on the same page. We're trying to make money. We're trying to grow ourselves. We're trying to grow, get these businesses and delegate and share in deep strategies, how we're advertising, how you're getting drivers, how you're getting people to work for your company. Never before will you see people who been at home will work for $12, $15 an hour as long as they can work from home, have a computer, and da 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 da. Like, there's one girl right now I know. She said her boss sh didn't even let them come back to work. They shipped them cheap Dale computers to their house. That's, that's, <laughs> I thought it was funny, but it's like, I hope you, I mean, I, that's how serious it is. Like, they didn't even want to come back in office. They shipped them computers to their house. I'm in a military neighborhood. Most of our operators pew pew life on steroids. Oh yeah, and that's part of like living where I live. Um, a lot of military people move that northern part of Austin because it's halfway to Colleen. So Ashton, the new course should work anywhere because a lot of this you can do combination of online stuff and in-person stuff. Uh, 
I doubt it'll be a problem because we're going to talk about funding, credit, capital partners. If it's something that just, if you tell me it's just terrible, it didn't work for you at all, then we would go over that. You can grow an avocado in Texas. You still actually can. Pioneer woman. Pioneer woman was already a millionaire and then made like 10x more money off of being on the Pioneer Woman show. Like 10x. The office jobs ain't coming back. Most managers of seeing how much they can save on overhead by having their employees work from home. Mm -hmm. I got on your email list, but I didn't get a confirmation. Oh, apologies. So I've been in here about an hour and 20 minutes, but <clears throat> I just wanted to that's just something I wanted to share with y'all because I, I get I get it. People are laughing like, oh, you're trying to be positive. But I'm like, because I see the money. I see where we're going to go. I see where there's 20 percent rising up. There's so many people who are action takers. They're going to be kicking butt. I'm not worried. I mean, like, I hate to say it that way. That sounds so terrible, but I'm really not worried. There's a segment of the population who is losing their mind right now. And then there's a segment of population like, OK, well, how can I how can I go on with my life? How can I control this? How can I make this work for me? How can I create jobs in the future for my own kids? Th th those are the people I want to be around. But yeah, I mean, it's the opportunities are endless. They're just endless. She said, Sherry, I got more done this week in the last few months. I'm telling you because people have been so distracted and the guy said on Twitter, that's kind of going viral. He said, if you come out of this with no new skills, no new talents, no new certifications, you don't lack um, opportunity or time. You lack discipline. It's just facts. Been the bartender. I feel really calm. Yeah. If you got a plan. Shh. So most of y'all who are going to join it, I'll see you on Tuesday. But yeah, this, the big thing is the stock market is going to go up or down. You can't control that. Most Americans are working. Let LJ, let me, can I say, can I, can I repeat it one more time? Most Americans are working. 10 million just got laid off. Is this horrible? Yes. I am sorry to every single person who has been laid off. That is a horrible thing. I would never want to go through it. But guess what? 90% of people are still at work. Actually, more than 90%, because actually, LJ, if you think about it, 150 million working Americans. Well, you know, a little bit more than that. But 150 million working Americans and 10 million got laid off. There's still 140 million Americans working and thinking about what they're going to do. Again, it's up here. Now, is it does it change the economy? Does it create new normals? Yeah. But if you read the book Frugalwood, if you read the book Upside, if you look at how some of these houses are going to be real cheap soon. Again, I'm here in Austin and there they have scheduled 37 skyscrapers planned to be built. Apple is coming here building the biggest campus you've ever seen in your life. Money is still going to flow here. Money's going to flow in Nashville. Money's going to flow in Charlotte. Money's going to flow in Raleigh. Money's going to flow in Miami. It may flow slower. It's still going to flow. Don't get don't get lost in this, right? There's YouTubers in little little towns like Ohio. Erin, um, Erin on demand. She's in Detroit, getting married, building a house, living her best life. You have to understand that 20% of economy of society that are business owners or go-getters, they gonna go up. The house that was a million, not gonna be 800,000. The cars, the trucks, listen, I'm, I'm part of me is trying to wait for a Jeep Wrangler that's gonna be cheap. Part of me is waiting for a Dodge Ram that's gonna be cheap. Part of me is like, I don't know, if I, why am I gonna pay $40,000 for a Jeep Cherokee when I can buy two semi trucks for that? It's hard to make that make sense to me, it's hard. To make that make sense. I'd rather rent it for a week and then go put it back. Chicken plant in Mississippi still working. Most unemployed folks will do better financially with unemployment. They really will because some of these people make less than $500 a week. That's right. Nadine said she signed up for Terry's Travel and Trade because she sees the opportunity. I'm going to say that again. <clears throat> Right now, Nadine says she signed up for Terry's travel and trade because she sees the opportunity. That's right. There's going to be a ton of opportunity. A lot of people are losing hope and losing their mind, but 
90, 80% of people still at work. There's still money to be made, ups or downs. Nadine says she signed up. The oil company out here up like 20 for their trucks for sale. I'm telling you, Apple Mac. Listen, but the, when they drive those trucks in Oval, they tear them bad boys up. They be raggedy. They really ain't. <laughs> they're not even worth 20. <laughs> like unless they're just new, new, and they've just been out there for six months or a year. But they really, really tear them trucks up. Like I would, like um, Marcos went to one of the auctions. He said it was raggedy. They had it looking raggedy. But I hope that I hope you guys get encouraged because here's the thing, like people still got to drive to work. And my thought process is if Donald Trump came out and said we're going to be closed for four months. People would have lost their mind. They would have been burning stuff in the streets. But if you have this slow trickle of people go home that we're going to go home eventually. Yeah, it's, it's something different. Our room for tell how to be successful in trucking business. Have you gotten trucking Justin's course? Have you got hood estates? Have you, uh oh, Ron for real estate just got here. He missed the whole live. Ron, you're going to have to rewind it because I'm getting ready to get off right now. I agree on office jobs might be I'm coming back. I went from home for retirement investment company based in Iowa. Mandatory OT the last three weeks. People still moving investments and financial transactions. Yep. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's just it. You know, I mean, I want you guys to be encouraged and I don't want you to be discouraged because the next couple months you're going to have instant. Listen, I tried to get a shout out from an Instagrammer and they were like, oh, for 500 bucks. Tell me what the Instagram are going to say in about three weeks, y'all. What they going to say in about two months? What amount do you think they're going to charge me for a shout out? Because that's something I'm going to talk about in the class too. shout outs. But imagine that they wanted five hundred dollars for a shout out. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen in three months? How much I'm gonna be able to pay? How much I'm gonna pay for a shout out? Y'all take a guess inside the comments. What's up? How you do? Oh man, Ron for real estate. Ron, I might have to make you get an authority, man. <laughs> they gonna be like a hundred? Yeah, fifty bucks, a hundred. They gonna be cheap. $20, <laughs> $350, fifty. shoot. They ought to be paying you. Listen, I'm a truck driver in Albany, still able to take a month off work. I'm telling you, Leroy, it's, listen, these truck drivers are like chilling. Last day to purchase 150. Um, Sylvia, it might be. I have to go look. I mean, but I've been talking with friends and they're like, charge this, charge that. I'm like, I'll think about it. I'm gonna think about what to charge. Walmart just started home delivery out here, so you no longer have to go to the crowded stores. Goodness. I'm telling you, man. It's Here's the thing. People can laugh at me for being optimistic. People can um, laugh at me um, about a lot of stuff. But I know what I know, and I know my projections. I know how what I spent last year in investing in courses and groups is probably going to make me three to $10 million, depending on how this goes this year. And I know it because I, and this is part of too, why when I hear me, Kevin and all them talking, me, Kevin's a full-time YouTuber now. The money, money is then called him away from real estate. But also I know that's how I know Grant Cardone is going to be just fine because there's just so, if he can weather cash flow issues, he'll be fine. So I, I just, chaos is not a pit, it's a ladder. It's a straight ladder. I've already tried contacting a few companies saying they will train new people to get CDL. I was actually about to uh, hire three people to go get their CDL, but my insurance company would not. They were like, no, 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 no. Yeah, Grant has a very expensive lifestyle. If he can weather the cash flow problem, he'll be fine. Uh,
here's the thing. I was on YouTube and Instagram and I saw so many Grant Cardone ads. I was laughing. I was like, he's still spending. They're still like when I went to Grant Cardone's 10X in Miami, I cannot kid you. I cannot kid y'all not. When they when Ty Lopez came on stage, he said, how many people just started following me and came here today? Like under three months. And I would I promise you, like 50 to 60 percent of the people in the crowd stood up in this giant auditorium of 33,000 people. 40 to 60 percent stood up when Ty Lopez said, how many have been started following me past three months? And I literally there was a guy beside us and I asked him, I said, well, how long you been following Greg Cardone? He's like about a month. I've been following Ty Lopez for four months. That's how I know. That's how I know the power of ads. That's how I know. Like, let me give you the, let me just go ahead and give you the scoop. Ty Lopez right now is buying businesses. He just was trying to buy Blue Apron. He just just tried to buy his other company. Why? Because they're in debt up to their eyeballs. And if somebody can come in with a fresh face and like, hey, I'll alleviate your problems, they'll let it go. And this is why when people sit here and tell me, I don't know, Eric, I don't know. I'm like, Ty Lopez ain't rich enough to buy Blue Apron. But he's the person they can unload all that onto and take it over and get paid in payments. You saw what just happened to WeWork, right? The guy who was going to make all this money, send all this money, $300 million to WeWork, just said, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not. Because he knows WeWork ain't worth it. He'll get he'll get it for lower. If he just backs up right now, he'll come back in and get it for lower. I met me, Kevin, three times now, um, sadly. He has some good to him, but he has emotionally been upset by Grant Cardone and will not let it go. Grant can you know hit you with the banks, unlike these haters that are put them on. Yeah, exactly. My CDL makes me even more handsome. Alpha trucker. Listen again, people right now who are going to be very handsome and attractive are people who have nice furnished houses and can live well. I'm not even joking. People who have nice furnished houses and have room to spare are going to be very attractive out here. Again, I told you all the whole thing about me, Kevin and Grant Cardone is if you read the book, 48 Laws of Power, where you are you have a master Number one, number four rule or something is don't outshine the master. Trust me, I've learned that the hard way. You will quickly lose a friend. Um, there's even this thing where it's a quote where it says, don't bring something up to your friend before they're ready. And I was like, what's that mean? And I remember talking to somebody and I was like, yeah, that's not a good idea. And they were so mad they quit being my friend. And they later came back and told me that they knew it wasn't a good idea. They just weren't ready to hear it yet. Honey, people have their own... 80% of the time, people up there having their own mental battle ain't got nothing to do with you. We work is in bad. We work, we work is in like, we work on life support. And they just came in there and said, hey, we got to cut your leg off. <laughs> and the person is on life support. That's how bad we work is. I mean, it's a great concept, but they never owned anything. If if we work came out. And, and I'm being serious. If WeWork came out and owned some of these buildings at bottom prices, it would work and it'd be no problem. But because WeWork is leasing all this stuff at the highest prices, it's, it's big ass rough. Bella Bella said, I was just watching me, Kevin, and saw this live recommendation. Y'all big time. America wins and got big time. <laughs> That's right, Nita, 48 Laws of Power. No, no, Apple Mac, in, in the book, Never Outshine the Master. And also there's a, uh, it's called The Art of War is another book. What happened is me, Kevin, had this man as his, his mentor, his master. He got closer and closer to it. And the guy's like, move, dude, you're weird. So at that point, it turns from love and admiration to hate, to bitterness, to Oh, my God, I got arrested and I'm being sued and I'm mad. And so then he just spends his whole mindset like it's almost like I got to destroy it now. Right. You spend all this time building it up 
and now you have to destroy it, right? So it's just, it's yeah, like stand from the Eminem song, exactly what it is. Should you get a loan? I don't know. It depends on what's going on with you. We work, they're going to get buried. Broke fire, broke minimalism. <laughs> Thank you so much, Big Mo. I still love it though. It's got too big, too fast. Should own more buildings, less offices. Yeah, I mean, right now WeWork's best thing to do is, is, is make sure some of these companies can rent out half of its spaces. Miss Williams, you've always been big time. Continue to leave the haters in the dust. Your stunt, stunt supporters and followers will always be there because you're grateful for the advice. Thank you. Solid steps to wealth. The book also states that a small person will attack the giant for recognition. Only the giant can lose in this battle. Best to ignore. That's the one I was trying to use. Done. Thank you. Done the finance guy. Thank you. That's from the book. That's the other half I was trying to use. The book also states that the small person will attack the giant for recognition. Only the giant can lose in battle. Best to ignore. Perfect. Yes, tracking Justin is I have authority for it. Thank you. He said, Erica, please keep up the good work. Thank you. Ty is doing like Oprah with Weight Watchers. Exactly. So, so this is what I want you to understand. Ty Lopez went from running all these ads, getting on your nerves, getting on your nerves. You're like, damn, I'm so tired of seeing Ty Lopez to taking that money and buying businesses. I'm just, I'm just going to teach you that on a smaller level because it's possible. I promise you. Oh yeah. I mean, you saw what happened when me and Kevin messed with Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey and them too, for real, for real. They won't play with him. Nope. We work just leases a building, puts the sign up and then leases it to a bunch of us. So then it's cool, but then it's like they don't own anything. So it was hard for them to keep high numbers um, in equity because they didn't own anything. Okay, you guys, I got to go. It's been an hour and 42 minutes. Thank you for being here. If you've joined the ultimate 20% rise up course, I'm excited. It's about to be fire over there. I can talk more freely. I can talk about different plans and strategies because it'll be a group of like-minded people. It'll be a mastermind. So the ultimate 20% rise up class, it's 150 this week. I don't know what it'll be next week. Maybe two grand, maybe a thousand, maybe a thousand five hundred. I'm not certain because I'm not certain. But live trainings, we're talking credit, we're talking techniques, we're talking about group funding, we're talking about buying businesses, we're talking about buying assets on fire sale. We about to be wilding out over there. So I hope you guys come prepared on Tuesday night. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna send an email to everybody who's in the course before the Zoom call, and we'll also make sure to post it in the Facebook group. If you're having problems with the Facebook group, I'm working on it as soon as I get out of here. It's been great talking to y'all today. Live.